Hansen's one of the first guys I've met when I really got into the flats fishing stuff. Kick it by any second. Tell him. Nice job, bud. Nice job. Thank you. Tight. There you go. Thank you, Jared. Nice. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. It's been a long time, Hansen. I was thinking about last night, and I was like, man, when's the last time Hansen and I got out? And it was 16, and we were bone fishing the swash back when the big fish used to be around. Got him. Got him. Nice job, bud. Good job, Nice Jared. fish. Yeah, baby. And here we go, baby. Yeah, oh, baby. That's what that's I'm talking a, about. That's a nice that's snug. Good. At the end of it all, it's about having a good time, having fun, the companionship, and that right there is priceless all on its own. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know what that means? Look at the color of that sky. We got the jet. We got yep. the jet, man. There ain't Down no way go. around it. Got to go. Keep going slow. Here he comes. Keep going, keep going slow. Keep going. Got him. Pull. Let him go. Nasty. Nasty, buddy. Oh, my oh. God. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, baby. Get tight. I'm tight, baby, I'm tight. It's all 90 pounders. 90 Eight. pounder? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, big fish, too. It's a big one. Oh, baby, come it's on. It's a big one. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, no, no, Jenna, no. You got to order use medical. It's all the way over here. Yep, yep. Oh, oh. yeah, baby. I got him. Look at oh, him. my God. Greyhound. Hansen's one of the first guys I've met when I really got into the flats fishing stuff. You know, Hansen's somebody that really figures out everything and all its capabilities from uh, the GPS units to the, the tackle to the certain knots and he was obsessed with it then, he's obsessed with it now. It's been a long time, Hansen. Yeah, it's been a real long time. 16, I, we were thinking about last <laughs> night and I was like, man, when's the last time Hansen and I got out? And it was 16, and we were bone fishing the swash back when the big fish used to be around. Yep. And uh, man, it was, it was just a long time ago. And it's uh, 17 years Making of history. friendship we've had, right? Absolutely. And, now we're but, back out here doing this. <laughs> well, it's rare. It's rare these yes. days, you know, with, you know as, as my kids are getting older, it's, it's important, it's good for your soul to do these kinds of things. Let the day go the way it goes. And so today, that's exactly what we're gonna do, man. Like, just alternate times in the bow. I mean, I want you to get on the bow first, get some good luck going, get some good karma going for us, and uh, just kind of go with what the day is. Pretty day. It's a little weird. It's blowing out of the north in a, in, in May. In May. But this is Mother Nature. Mother Nature. You know, I, I am ultra technical when it comes to tying flies. I, I tie every little intricate detail. Yeah, see, that's what a fly box should look like. That'll work. That cricket right there will work just fine. With, you know, with a thought of how's this fly going to move? Is it going to foul? Is it going to sink at a certain rate? You know, so I take my time tying my flies and they look pretty and this and that. But then you look at Jared's flies <laughs> and there ain't nothing to them. My leader box. Fancy. How much does that matter? Who knows? Maybe it's confidence. Water's clean, dude. If we get some, uh, just a few rolling in here, they're gonna see it. This one's laying in this white hole here. This one here? Yep. Bump, bump. Could get a bite any second. Got him. Nice Got job, him. bud. Nice job. Thank Keep you. Tight. There you go. Thank you, Jared. There you go, man. There we go. There Let's we go. Scoop this one in. A little fun size one. Fun size. <laughs> so going out with a fellow guide, we're both experienced, right? We're both very experienced fishermen. 80% of it is how good you can perform. And then the other 20% is how much luck you have. Woo -hoo -hoo. Well, take That's it. That's what I'm talking about. That's the size that I don't have to do anything except for tie Just the hang boat. out. We're going to strip it. him in like a trout. That's it. 25 pounders, love them, man. We knew that path. Woo -hoo. Oh, there you go. Wore them through, huh? Yep, wore right through it. The best part it wasn't for a lack of hooking fish. We just had rubber hook syndrome. 
Ooh, started dude. losing some fish, started, you know, jumping them off, breaking them off, pulling hooks. Stuff like that happens. Thanks, Good, buddy. Oh, 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 God. We decided to try to, you know, hey, let's get something on the board and, and, and see if we can't mess around, at least get something under our belt. And he, he's all game like I am for the variety. Look at the size of that fish. This is a beast, dude. Beast mode. Fish the legend. At Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, we're working to make sure that you'll find healthy populations of bonefish, tarpon, and permit at your favorite destinations. From the Florida Keys to Belize, from the Bahamas to Mexico. But we need your help to fight for clean water and healthy habitats. After all, if we don't conserve our flats fisheries, who will? Please support us today at btt.org and help us bring science to the fight. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Costa, see what's out there. And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. And now, 60 seconds in the mill house. I must say, Tom, uh, over the years, I've known you for quite a while now. Probably uh, 20, I've, 25 years. Yeah. Um, walking into Custom Rod and, and Real, your store, was always just such a great, happy place. I mean, my God, all the, everybody, it was like, it was like the fishing central. With the four chairs in the corner, everybody sits there. You got a TV there, and everybody can tell fish stories and lies. It was awesome. Yeah, like it a barber shop. Fantastic, and, and and your knot machine and the knots and the knowledge you guys had in there and building product for the world. Right. I mean, your legacy is so big. I've had many times I sat there on the phone with three lines up there, and I got somebody in Australia, somebody in Venezuela, and somebody in Costa Rica on three different lines at the same time. And you never know who's calling the next phone call. But a lot of people don't realize what a great fisherman you were. I was a little above average. <laughs> to watch this and other full-length episodes of the Millhouse podcast, go to YouTube or wherever you find your podcasts. Oh, ate it. Got him. Got him, baby. Nice triple tail. We call that a saltwater crop. Woo, baby. That's a good one, man. That is a good one. I don't know if I've ever had a triple tail get me in my backing. Dude, he's in your back. In my backing. <laughs> oh my God. Right? It might be dinner. Uh, I don't like to jinx it like that, but yes. <laughs> yes, it might be. Man, oh, look at the size of this thing. Dude, I'm gonna respect him and let him go. All right. It's a, it's a good one, man. All right, much respect. Yeah. Oh, man, that is a solid one. We don't might not even need the net. No? No. There we go. Oh. Nice. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. And I respect him because he's on the flat. And he was very... Look at that, that fell right out. out. Right? All right, I know what's good for you because now watch. I'm going to get up there. The big snook will be everywhere. Hey. You get to watch me blow Next shots. time. Next time, you're not going to be so lucky. <laughs> Next time, not so lucky here. That was awesome. Thanks, Hanson. There's not many times that I can remember in my life that I would let a triple, t triple tail like that go. I can tell you that. Hey, there's something on the back of this ray, dude. To the right or left? To the left. See him like 20 feet in front of the, uh, the mud? Left. See it out there on okay, the ray? Yeah, 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 I got it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Pump that. Bump. Bump. Got him. He ate it. Nice. Big jack. Big old jack. It's, I thought it might have been a triple tail, but 
You see my triple tail still waking out there? Yeah, still going off. It's a nice jack, though. Not a bad jack. I don't care. Cudas and jacks are still up there with some of the best fighting fish. I no hesitation on that bike. Oh, permit. That's it. There you go. That's a flamingo permit. A flamingo Everglades permit. All right, buddy. All right. Mud on the back of a ray. Back of the ray. Grunt and permit. Nice. All right, buddy. Peace, Peace out. All right. All right. My turn. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah. Only if you catch the next tailing catfish. That's it. I pulled <laughs> I pulled that baby a whole three feet. I don't care. When you're out here fun fishing, you cast at everything. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm back in my comfort zone. Get an extra pair of eyes you can depend on with our most powerful radar yet. Get more power for vastly improved range and higher resolution. Get more fish. Halo 3000 debuts Bird Plus mode. Get more safety with smart new features like zone track and velocity track, and get more simplicity. With a range of preset modes, Halo radars have never been so easy to use. Halo Open Array from Simrad, our most powerful radar yet. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Shimano Fishing Products and G. Loomis Rods. Feel connected. Simrad Chart Plotters. Go with confidence. Florida Marine Tracks, clarity in navigation. And by Pathfinder Boats, angler driven. Big snook? Oh, I see him. Where are you at? Back up here. Oh, I got glare. Got a whole lot of glare. Right there, see him going right? See him going right, right off the bow. Right there, the dark. Oh, it's 50 feet, right off the bow. Go ahead, go right. Go right, buddy. Oh, I think I right, got him. Right, buddy, right. Right, right, right. Right there, a little further. Yeah, okay, see yeah. him? I got him, I got him. Come on, buddy, get it to him. You're behind him, brother. I know, I know. Good, strip long, strip long, strip long, strip long, 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 buddy, long. Bump it, bump, bump, got him. Got him. Nice job, buddy. Good job, Nice Derek. fish. Good job. Good spot, dude. Good spot. Good job. Man. Way to go, Hanson. Thank you. Way to go, brother. And he's Woo. off. Yeah. And he's off to the race. We got a sniff Woo. off. Nice one, too, bud. That's a oh, good one. God. Hard to see him in that edge there. Dude, that was a good job, <laughs> That was brother. hard to see. Good job, brother. Good job on your part. That was some nicely done. Good coaching. Good nice, guiding. Nice done. Keep him tight. Woo oh, man, I was excited. Head, it's a decent one, probably 30 inches. We'll take them all day. I'll take them, are you kidding me? Oh man. He's a decent one, there's no doubt. Yeah. I upgraded from a jack to a snook. Yeah. I like it. Nice upgrade. That is a decent upgrade. This is here. exactly what we came here for though. Oh yeah. You know, that's. This is what we're hunting here. This is uh, absolutely. Good job, man. Thank he came you. and turned back around from where I thought I saw him, good and all spot, of a sudden he was dude. just sliding. That was a scary spot. You think spot. you got him under control now? Yeah, I think I got him. Or he's got me. He's, he's still, I don't want to put too much pressure on no, this I, I don't blame you. This is a, Let me know if I need to do anything here. You hooked him right in the corner. Oh, that's definitely a nice fish. Okay, easy, he's gonna do something probably Yeah, he's gonna do something here. crazy here. Easy, easy. He's going easy on him. Oh man, oh yeah, they, you know it's big when the head starts to go look like that. Yeah, he's got massive oh, yeah. lump on its head. 
Oh, yeah. I'll swing her around to you. So you can give her a good grab. Yeah, here. baby. And here we go, baby. Yeah, oh. baby. That's what that's I'm talking a, about. That's a nice that's a snook. snook. That's that a is snook. a snook. Yeah, it's bigger than I thought. Wow. Yeah, that's a good one. 33, 34 incher. Wow. Right? Yeah. Look at the size we'll of that. We'll take fish, her all man. day. Oh. Woo. So sweet, Hansen. Look at that. Thank bud. you. Look at that, bud. Look at that slope right here. Right? And that lateral line. Mm. God, that's a gorgeous fish. That awesome. is what we're talking about. Look at the mouth. This one, is this big? I can't imagine what the other ones are like. Dude, the other ones have to be huge. Yeah, I mean, 36, 37 inches. Yeah. I mean, look at how thick that back is. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Actually, I'm going to give this one a nice little... <laughs> I don't care. See ya. See ya my bro. man, dude. Yeah, my man. man. Thank you. <laughs> You're the man. I don't know about that. If you've ever visited the Florida Keys, you understand what, what the weather and how fast things change here. You can wake up in the morning and it could be beautiful, slick, calm, and sunny, but it could switch like that. It, it seems like we've been schooled by the bigger ones, both of us. You know, we've gotten some leaders, we've gotten close. Uh, obviously, the weather is made a turn for the worse for us, but I feel we can't leave without saying we got a tarpon in our possession. We, we have to get our hands on uh, one. Hands on one and just, have to. Uh, and just something, just something, right? So let's pull up here, man. We have about 30 minutes before I say we need to rock and roll in this in these systems, but catch, catch a little one and, you know, call it a good, call it a good day, man. Sounds let's good, do brother. It. Let's, let's do, do this. That. We were trying to squeeze out just just to get our hands on a tarpon. Got him, baby. Got him, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. There get you go. There. Get there out of there. There you go, Hudson. Get out of there. Yeah, baby. Look at the fish. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Free Fly Apparel. Comfort on, adventure out. Mako Reels, built to last, built to stop. By Yeti, built for the wild. And by Ameritrail Trailers. Load, launch, relax. Morning. Real, real forest. Real forest. Real forest. Let's go, Tucker. <laughs> And now, a minute from our conservation partner, Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Right now, in the Florida Keys, we have a resurgence in our bone fishery. The fish are small and abundant, and given the chance, can replenish the stocks of large trophy fish that we once had. Although our fisheries face challenges from the lack of fresh water to Florida Bay, poor wastewater management, and rapidly increasing marine use, we as anglers and guides can do our part to help our fish get bigger by releasing them healthy so they continue to grow and be caught again. Florida Keys Fishing Guides Association, Lower Keys Guides Association, and Bonefish and Tarpon Trust jointly crafted catch and release guidelines that will give our bonefish the best chance of survival. Keep fish in the water. Taking the fish out of the water for even 15 seconds can greatly decrease the chances that bonefish will survive. Minimize handling. Touching the fish or even keeping the fish boat side for long periods removes protective slime causing infections or builds up stress hormones affecting the bonefish behaviors that can decrease their chances of survival. Be aware of predators. Though sharks are on most flats that have bonefish, if sharks are being overly aggressive, it's better to leave the area alone. For many of our fisheries in Florida, 
We need an army of engaged anglers to force needed change to improve water quality and protect healthy habitats. But individually, we can make all these fisheries better by releasing caught fish healthy. To learn more, visit btt.org. We pulled into a place, you know, everything, I think all the fish probably felt this, this system coming, felt this pressure. Um, everything was tucked real tight up into either a little creek mouth or back in the mangroves. Obviously, as, as an angler, you're casting. It has to be very, very precise, very tight loops, and it has to get the distance. I mean, haunts them through this, what I would call a dart. Got him, baby. Got him, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. There, you there. there you go. Get out of there. There you go, Hudson. Get out of there. Get out, baby. Nice casting, like threading uh, easy around those trees. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Trying to get in the jungle. Like threading the needle up there, bud. Whoa. Threading the needle up there, buddy. It was, it was actually a really neat way to end the day because it was exciting. Get out of there. I'm drifting out. Drift out, drift out. <laughs> whoa, it's good. Oh, trying to bottom. get in the bushes. You good? Oh, you good? You good? You had to maneuver them through the trees and, and, and through all the roots and to get them out of all the obstacles that are in those trees to get them into our hands. Bottom of the ninth. Dude. Bottom of the ninth. Nice cast, man. Thanks, buddy. Nice cast, man. Great setup. You're good. Nice. I like, I like it. Come on out. Perfect. Come on out. Won the play. He's won the play. Okay. Okay. All right. He's probably come up jumping over here. Oh, 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 oh. I got it. It's all good. <laughs> Get him out. <laughs> there he is. No. He's coming all out. All the tarpon bit. are making us work for it today. Dude. All of them. Every single one. Right? Big, small. It doesn't matter. They're all making up. There you go. There he is. He's gonna jump right here, probably right out there. Oh, he just wants to get you wet. That's it. Don't worry. By the look of what the weather's turned, uh, I think <laughs> we have no problem about the getting wet part. There you go. Come on. Come on. Subdue. Come here. Come here. Come on. Just... Oh. <laughs> Come on. Just put it oh. Just, oh. Just in my hand. Come on, buddy. Come on. Got him. Hey, <laughs> We, still, we do know how to cut the tarpon. Hey, look. Look at that. We touched huh? one. There it is. <laughs> Once we put our hands on it, fish was healthy and we revived them, but we were in a hurry to get that thing uh, revived so we can get rolling. Because uh, when I said 35 minutes, I was probably, it was probably off by 20 of it. That's awesome, man. Oh, uh, man. Been an awesome day. Man. That was fun. From triple tail to a nice snook to jack to jump in some big tarpon. I think it's the best way to close off and you can hear what's going on around us. Oh, it's we got about a 20 minute run home, so let's let this guy go. Grow uh, up and Yep, grow up and it. we'll get you out next time. Here we go, a little kick, little kick there. Woo. My oh, man. Yeah, man. brother. Awesome, that buddy. was awesome. Nice casting up there, man. Like Thanks, thread a needle in that thing. <laughs> All right, you know what that means, dude? Look at the color of that sky. We got the jet. We got yep. the jet, man. There ain't Down no way go. around it. Gotta go. At the end of it all, it's about having a good time, having fun, the companionship, and that right there is priceless all on its own. <laughs> Woo!